Hi, I'm Bruno Aziza, and this week I'm sitting down with Wayne Eckerson, and Wayne is the Director of Research at the Data Warehousing Institute, also known as TDWI. Thanks for being here, Wayne. I'm glad to be here. And so Wayne is also a thought leader in the space. He's the author of this great book published by Wiley and uh, uh, translated in uh, many languages, so you can find it at your local uh, bookstore. You have a lot to share with us and our, our viewers, CIOs. Uh, one of the subjects we discussed is Agile BI. Do you want to tell us what you mean by that and how CIOs can apply these principles? Well, Agile BI means Agile Business Intelligence. And, and to me, that means delivering the right information to the right people at the right time so the business can make optimal decisions um, to improve the business, to capitalize on opportunities before they disappear, to optimize performance, to achieve strategic objectives, and to give information to people on the front lines who need it uh, to make those uh, you know, hundreds or thousands of operational decisions that mean the difference between success and failure ultimately in an organization. So this analytical culture that you're talking about is differentiating aspect of a lot of leading organizations. What type of insights is Zynga getting out of this work? Uh, great question. So one of the uh, things that they discovered was important to do was embed their analysts into the, the product departments and the product uh, uh, studios, as they call them at Zynga. And when they did that, um, the analysts began to question some of the assumptions that the product managers had. For instance, one assumption was uh, the way to increase retention, which is a big issue at, at, at Zynga, how to get players to keep playing the game over time, uh, is that the more friends you had in the game, the longer you would stay in the game. Well, they began to question that, and they did some tests, and they realized it wasn't the number of friends, it was actually the level of engagement of the existing friends that you had. And that insight actually uh, caused them to, to change the games themselves and to add new dimensions and features to the game that would uh, increase the level of engagement between friends. So here's an example of where analytics, uh, one of many examples where analytics and insights are driving the business. This is interesting, this concept of Agile BI, because I think it touches on the point that you need insights. And sometimes it feels like organizations tend to overfocus on the data and forget the end in mind. You know, as you think about the guidance you're giving the CIOs here, what, what are the key takeaways you would think as you think about developing Agile BI capabilities? Well, that's a good point. Uh, you know, oftentimes we, we get too wrapped up in, in the technology and just delivering the data is so hard that we think that once we put it out there, our job is done. Yeah. But ultimately, you know, we can have the most elegant architectures and the most elegant BI tools uh, and great reports and users can actually look at them. But you know what, if they're not doing anything as a result of receiving that information, all our effort and work is for naught. Yeah. On the flip side, data is also very hard. Uh, it's 80% of the time and cost to pull the data together. Uh, and technically it's hard, um, it takes a lot of time for technical professionals to do this kind of work. But uh, in addition, probably the hardest part of data is, is the political side of data and getting the business, especially across departments, across business units, to agree on common terms and definitions for the key metrics uh, and entities that uh, companies use. So even something as simple as what is a customer can be a very politically fraught, uh, politically charged issue. So in the example of Zynga, what's, what sounds like your best practice is when the business and the analysts work together to uh, validate or infirm uh, assumptions. Uh, is this a methodology of bridging the gap across uh, uh, groups a best practice for you? Absolutely. And I think that's part and parcel of this whole agile movement. Uh, the new methodologies today that we're talking about are essentially ways to get the business and the IT people to work more closely together. And in fact, in an ideal world, it's a true partnership where they're really working side by side uh, and they're really looking at themselves as one team and ideally reporting into one individual with the same incentives and they're talking the same talk and the same goals. Uh, if you can create that kind of environment in which to develop your, your insight-based applications, you're going to succeed. And so you talk about that business and IT and often a BI competency center could be a way to do that. What about the examples of data warehousing folks and BI folks working together? Should they, is there best practices there as well? Uh, absolutely. They, 
I also think that they should be part of one team, reporting to one manager. Uh, otherwise, your coordination costs between different specialists that are required to deliver a complex insight-based solution will kill you. So the more that you can create small teams, self-managed te teams, um, agile teams um, that can work quickly, short iterations, delivering working functional code, the better off you're going to be. So great. Uh, what I'm hearing from you, Wayne, is a couple of, of uh, great insights for our CIOs, I think. First off is data is hard, but you got to think about the end result, and the insight is really what's differentiating your business intelligence effort. I think the second thing I'm hearing is also organization. It's not just about the technology and, and certainly a big cultural aspect, but it's also the way you organize your teams. It's business and IT, data warehousing people with BI people, analysts working with the product management teams and so forth. Is there anything else that you'd like to uh, add for our CIO folks? Uh, well, that was well said. It was a great, a great <laughs> summary you. and a great wrap, uh, wrap up. I, I would have to say this business intelligence, it's just been an exciting field and you know, delivering insights, I think, really is the, the only way that your company is going to get true, lasting competitive advantage. You know, it all comes down to knowledge. I mean, you can cut costs all you want. Uh, you can re-engineer processes, restructure your organization, but when it comes down to it, the knowledge and insights of the people that are doing the work day in, day out, interacting with your customers, that's what's going to give you competitive advantage, and business intelligence is absolutely critical to that. Great. Thank you very much for your time, Wayne. You also share uh, executive summits on BI. You have events uh, throughout the year, and you also have a large body of research. You talk to thousands of people throughout the year. But definitely, if you want to find out more about Wayne's work, uh, you can email him here at this uh, email address we're showing on the screen. And until next time, I'm Bruno Zita.